Hello, this is Nurse Brew. Today I want to talk about cardiac arrest. Uh, this is episode 1. You're walking in a general ward, not ICU ward. Then you see a patient that looks sleeping, so you call her or his name. She or he doesn't respond. Doesn't respond. So you may find out there's a problem. You tap the patient on shoulder and nothing happens. You check the pulse, then find out he or she has a cardiac arrest. So what do you do in this in hospital scenario? First, you check pulse about or less than 10 seconds. Then you begin resuscitating. 3. Activate the code. How to activate the code? You may, you may want to shout for help. 4. Continuous cardiac massage uh, and never interrupt massage except for defibrillation and checking pulses. First priority is massage, then oxygen therapy. 5. Connect patient to defibrillator monitor. You may ask yourself what is best technique for chest compression or uh, cardiac massage. Uh, you place heels of each hand in the middle part of lower half of patient's sternum extend your hands and lock your hands uh, lock your fingers in each other lift fingers to avoid pressing the patient's ribs and breaking ribs start compression steadily at a rate of 100 to 120 compression per, per minutes let the chest to recoil completely do not break ribs because this decreases recoil and deteriorates prognosis how do we manage cardiac arrest first we initiate chest compression as soon as possible we flatten the bed we uh, deflate the wave mattress and shouting for help and you may want to uh, put a chair under your uh, legs so you uh, be more uh, controlled on patient chest you shout for help next person that comes has to check patients ECG that may may be mm, possible with defibrillator then check if patient uh, rhythm is shockable or not shockable rhythms are mm, ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia that is pulseless unshockable rhythms are PEA and asystole in shockable rhythms, priority is defibrillation, and in sh unshockable rhythms, priority is uh, chest compression and epinephrine. And epinephrine doesn't help so much. So continuum massage. Simultaneously with, with monitoring other person, I mean a third person, should start IV and uh, injects first IV epinephrine, uh, particularly in unshockable rhythms. And when you have, uh, you can uh, inject IV epinephrine and defibrillate patient, and each of the, uh, each of them uh, interrupts each other in shockable rhythms. You. Give, a pa give the patient a shock and in unshockable rhythms you give patient uh, epinephrine uh, do not use that 
and defibrillator. Uh, inject first IV epinephrine with a suitable amount of fluids. Mm, in the in the book, I uh, I'm starting. Uh, it is written uh, 20 cc normal saline is uh, enough. Fluids behind epinephrine, so the fluid pushes epinephrine toward heart. But be, but be aware that free fluid infusion is not desirable. And why? Because it increases preload and if heart begins beating, it will be hard for heart to push this preload, this huge amount of preload, forward. This was the episode 1.